ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರುಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನು ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾಬನ ಮನೋಹರ ಬಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯ ಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂದ ಪಿಬಚು ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ ಲಂಘಯತಗಿರಿ ಜತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವಸ್ಭಕ್ತಿಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚನರುತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಭರ್ನು ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಚನು ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೇತಾತ್ಯುಹಂ ಪುನತಪಾಲ್ಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಾರಭಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತಕಮಿ ಕಪವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಗ್ರ ಸುಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮೇ ಕದಾ ಕಿಪಾಕರೋಷಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತಗಾಧರ ಶಿವಸಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತಗಾಧರ ಶಿವಸಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೋ ಕಮಲಾಹತಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದೀತ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇಣ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತಪಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನೋಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀತ್ ಶಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಶರೀರ ವಸು ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಕರ್ಮ ಗುಣಾನ್ ಅಸೂನ ಧಾರೇತ್ ಗುರುವಾರ್ಥಿಜಸ್ತು ಸಶಿಷ್ಯ ನೈತರಶ್ರಿತ 
शरीरम वसु विज्ञानम कर्म गुणान असुन गुरुवार्ति धारे जस्तु सशिष्य न इतर श्रुत गौरिय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा परमंश जगदगुरु टोल्ड बाय पार्शियल एक्सचेंज विद गुरु पाद पद्म वी कैन नॉट गेट कंप्लीट बेनिफिट गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा परमंश जगदगुरु टोल्ड बाय पार्शियल एक्सचेंज विद गुरु पाद पद्म वी कैन नेवर गेट कंप्लीट बेनिफिट पार्शियल एक्सचेंज मीन इज अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ सबमिशन क्वेश्चन ऑफ ऑफरिंग एवरीथिंग अन टू द लोटस फिर ऑफ गुरु पाद मान सो देहो गेहो जो किच तोर जो किच मोर और पिदु तुआ पदे नंद किशोर is the question of submission unto the lotus feet of guru pad padma coming everything now if you put question why everything how i can live this is one kind of foolish question so long as you are going to preserve something in your life that can bring danger in your life you forget that thing anything if you are going to reserve for yourself your honor position money property anything whatever your personal personality personality everything whatever you are going to protect preserve this can bring danger in your life tremendous danger in your life to be frank if i am not niskinchan i cannot do hari bhajan i mean krishna bhajan if i am not niskinchan that is the vital point everybody try to overlook this point if i am not ready to reach up to that that you know niskinchan baba if i am failure in that case krishna bhajan not possible krishna bhajan is only possible when i when i am ready to offer everything manaso deho geho jo kichu moro or pinu tu apade nando kishor when i am ready to offer everything even my body mind everything nothing when i can reach this nishkinchan baba then and only then krishna bhajan is possible nanda nandan krishna bhajan that's why kunti devi also told kunti devi also told kunti devi to told people cannot know you people cannot know you only niskinchan devotees who are niskinchan they can know you otherwise not possible niskinchan mean niskinchan mean everything dedicated unto the lotus feet of guru pad padma i mean krishna like prabhupad is niskinchan you can say how possible maharaj Prabhupada making sixty temples all over the world. I mean, overall sixty temples. But Prabhupada speaking, I am Niskinchan. I am Kangal. Kangal mean I am nothing. Is impossible. Is really impossible. Because if I reserve something, in that case, I am going to invite some problem in my life. surely big problem and if i am going to offer everything unto the lotus feet of krishna then how i can live this question cannot arise because this is the responsibility of krishna to save you that day i was touching one very vital point 
Dasakshar mantra, I don't know you get or not. Dasakshar mantra, 10 syllable mantra or 18 syllable mantra. Both mantras so powerful you cannot remember. Follow. But when you like to, in Vyad Bhagavatam I am supposed to discuss, I am already discussing. If you like to chant that mantra, then before starting you will have to do some, there is some procedure. First of all, the Aprakita Kamdev, Aprakita Kamdev, Nandanandan Krishna, you will have to understand all the meaning of mantra. All the meaning. What is the, what is the meaning? Mantra, in Sanskrit we say, Mantartha Chintanam. Mantartha, Mantra Artha Chintanam. Mantartha Chintanam. First. Second, you will have to meditate. You will have to see, while doing mantra, while doing mantra, by the mercy of Gurudev, you can see totally, up top to bottom. Krishna, you can see. You can see. By mantra, you can see meditation, deep meditation. It is not a matter of joke. Only by the mercy of Guru Padme you can. You can get. Then you can meditate on the lotus feet of the Aprakita Kamdev. First, Mantartha Chintan. Second, meditation on the lotus feet of Dhyan. Dhyan. Third, Nash. Nash means? Nas means you are going to throw yourself onto the lotus feet of Krishna. Nas. You are going to deposit yourself onto the lotus feet of Krishna. Nas. After that, you know, there is Saranagati and, uh, you know, Goptitya Varan. Any situation arises, Krishna anyway can save me. All these five things, if it help, already fulfilled in your life, then this mantra can speak with you. Follow. That mantra matter, not a matter of joke. So, if I am going to offer myself everything, everything what I, my, all my possession, if I am going to speak, give everything to Krishna, that doesn't mean that I can die. I can leave. Krishna can take responsibility. But people misunderstand. People, why should I give everything to Gurudev? Okay, you, you need not give anything, but if you preserve, automatically you are going to invite false ego. Bonded soul, false ego, must. Anything you have, all false ego can, you can invite false ego, and you cannot proceed in Hari Bhajan. Because you are going to reserve your personal right, na? whimsical attitude. When all your speaking, looking, sitting, going, any speech, each and each and every action, even you're sleeping, speaking, eating, doing anything, when everything totally regulated by Guru Padma, Shadguru, then it's okay. Then you are in a safe position. Then you are in safe position. But before that, you cannot say you are even in a safe position, you cannot say. Most of the people, out of 100%, if I am not wrong, if I am not wrong, out of 100%, more than 99.9% .9 people, they don't understand why they are going to take Diksha. If you ask them why, why you are going to take Diksha into a little speech of Sadguru or Asadguru, whatever Diksha I have taken, why? They have no clear idea. They have no, no clear idea, misconception. First point is that when you can discover in your life, when you can discover in your life that your life is uncertain 100% by watching your father, mother, treatment given to you, all your friend, all your neighbors, whatever you are getting, husband, because in material world, all relationship has some self-interest. 
No father can prove, no father can prove that I have my relations with my husband, there is a way without any self-interest. Self-interest must be there. Because this kind of relationship, pure relationship is not possible here. Many times I told before, maybe one year, two years before, Popat used to say, even as per the, as per the topmost estimation, uh, according to the material conception, material world, according to judgment, topmost love affair, you can find Jim Dela, Laila Majnu, follow, Laila Majnu, their love affair between uh, Jim Dela or, you know, Nol Damanti. If you read Mahabharata, you need not read Mahabharata, I am just speaking. If you go through the history of uh, Nal Damanti, you cannot stop crying. So painful. So painful life. But still their love was there. But still you cannot say it was 100% pure. 100% purity is not possible. In material platform, in material platform, this kind of love affair is not possible. Whenever you can cross this body limit, when you can cross this body limit, when you can feel, I am out of body. When you can feel, then and only then it is possible. Because in that case, the love affair, you can discover between Atma and Atma. Not body and body. But in material level, you can love. Without this love, you cannot even live. Always you demand material love. It's a must. But when you can cross this limit, body, body limit, mental limit, body limit, then you can, you can realize your Shuddha Atma. Many times Popad used to say, don't try to make any mistake. Krishna Bhajan is possible by Shuddha Atma. If I say with this material body I can go by made of blood and flesh, I can worship Bhagavan and do it, not possible. Many times Bhopa repeatedly used to say, Krishna Bhajan is possible by Krishna Bhajan is a, is a, Krishna Bhajan is the question of Aprakita Deho. Krishna Bhajan is related with Aprakita Deho, not with the material Deho. But we are confined with this material limit. The first point we are not ready to confess. First, the, the first point, that you like to go out of body? No, I don't like to go. Then how you can do? Ah, I can do Hari Vajan, no, do. First limit, first point, they are not ready to. They are nobody. I have not seen in my life one single man who, who like to go out of this limit. They don't like to go. They like to freeze up this. And nobody likes to clarify this point in front of you, in fear that you, you can leave that Maharaj. You can leave the Sadhu because of this absolute truth. Because you cannot get, he cannot get pranami, na? If you absolutely appreciate, oh, you are nice bhajan, then you can give pranami. So nobody is going to clarify this point. Baba speaking, Krishna bhajan is a matter of aprakita sarir, aprakachin deha. Krishna Bhajan is a matter of Chinmay Deho. Krishna Bhajan can be done by Chinmay Deho, not with material body. So, in course, I don't know where from you have taken Diksha. So, in course of chanting your mantra right from the beginning of Brahma Gayati, but you are not getting Brahma Gayati, okay, anyway, whatever mantra. First of all, you will have to follow five rules I already told. Five already told, na? Mantra, what is the meaning of that mantra? Because meditation, all I told, you will have to be careful. So, the question of Dikha can arise. So, the question of Dikha can arise at all when I can feel dis disgusted with the material world. Material world is okay, okay, I can keep balance, no. Out of 100%, if I am not you know, wrong, 99.9%, they have no clear idea. When they are feeling detested with the material world, when you are still today getting some test, when still today you are getting some test from the material world, 
then no possibility. When you are going to get some test, okay, nice. Then, when you are feeling detested, when you are fed up with the material world, then you can seek the kripa of Sadguru. And in that case, you can try to submit yourself, 100%, not before that. Because if you, if you are not going to discover, your, your, if, you are, if you are not going to discover that you are in 100% in danger. Like at that time of flood, I have told, you know, many long time before, at that, at, that time, at that time of flood, mother and baby here, mother cannot protect baby, baby going away in the water, current, so, so mother tried to save herself, husband tried to, her. so who can protect whom? This example we should remember, in this your material life, what you are leading, the, all your material, maya, or a material life, in this material mind, material life, all maya going to push you, current, and you need support. Which support? 100% support. Not 50% support. Not 50% support. 50% support, no guarantee. Like the mother, in course, baby gone, husband gone, all everything gone. Only she like to save herself. Finally, she get one, you know, uh, portion of that banyan tree hanging. He catch somehow. Follow. So you try to realize this situation in your life. You try to realize this situation, you are totally helpless. Guru Padma used to speak this example by one word. You know it. I think you know. A drowning man, a drowning man, drowning man catches at a, catches at a straw. Guru Padma very many times used to speak. A drowning man catches at a straw. But no, okay. Follow. So, that mother somehow going to get the protection of that, you know, that part of banyan tree and going to save herself. When the day, not the day, the moment you can feel, the moment you can feel you are totally helpless, you are Maya current, Maya current going to take you away. Maya current going to take you away and throw in the ocean of infinity misery. The moment you can realize, then, then you are then you are taking shelter onto a lotus feet of Sadguru can be possible. Otherwise, by partial exchange, partial submission, partial I can give this much. Not possible. Follow. Anyway, today is the Abhir Bhaptiti of a great, great Guru Parshad. His name is Srila Gopal Bhattu Goswami. Abhir Bhaptiti today. At the same time, today is the Tiro Bhaptiti of Srila Ramchandra Kaviraj, the dear most disciple of Gopal Bhattu Goswami. Very. Follow. I am not going to speak any history, some Siddhanta which are we like to know. That great Gaur Parshat took birth there in Srirangam. Srirangam, you heard the name of Srirangam, you heard the name. There is eight Vaikuntha, eight Vaikuntha appearing in this heart to save you and me. Eight Vaikuntha. Hello. Eight Bung. Counting from, you know, Padikasram, Rameshwaram, you know, these, you know, Ayodha, all. Sirangam, all you count. Eight, even, you know, that, you know, Naimisharan also. It is the eighth, number eighth Vaikuntha. Uh, eight Vaikuntas appearing in this world to save, according to our test, according to our response. We can get and you know, keep up from that Vaikuntha appearing. Vaikuntha means eternally there. So, Sirangam 
took birth in Srirangam, nice, and father Benkat Bhatta, Tirumanla Bhatta is an uncle, another uncle, name is, name is Prabhadananda Saraswati Pad. Prabhadananda Saraswati Pad was there. Now question can come, why Prabhadananda Saraswati Pad there? Because the name, because the name Prabhadananda Saraswati is going to speak, he is in renounce order, yes or not? Well, then, okay, renounce order, okay, but it is Vaikuntha. It is the usual rules, it is the usual rules that when somebody is going to take sannyas, he need to keep himself away from family touch. It is the rules. Because Maya is dangerous. Maya is so dangerous. If you stay near, you can see your mother, you can see your wife, you can see your children. Not possible. If you like to understand, you will have to... I can discuss this point during Gaur Purnim. What is the excellency of Gauranga Mahapu's detachment? How possible that Gauranga Mahapu is going to avoid Vishnu Priya Devi, Madha, Sochima, everybody. Everybody. And night time in the winter season, night time in the winter season, gradually coming out of the room, already took permission from Vishnu Priya, but very tactfully. But that day Mahaprabhu can go away, nobody knows. Follow. Going out, going at the bank of Ganga, it is called Nidaya. Nidaya, no? what is called Nidaya? Ruddhadi Bursa. There, Gauranga Mahaprabhu gone with strong mind. Gauranga Mahaprabhu going to jump into cold water, Ganga, night. Almost, you know, dawn, not dawn actually. Follow. 3.30 or 4 o'clock, maybe, or Mahaprabhu jump into water and swim across the river and going to that side and with wet cloth gone to Katwa. Painful. Even the earthquake is good, but that kind of, you know, what kind of shaking? People cannot bear Mahaprabhu gone. So, Prabhadana Saraswati Bhaji, you can find some fault with Prabhadananda, but there's no scope. Because first point, Prabhadananda have no, you know, Detachment, it was a number one sannyasi in Sri Sampadaya, topmost, very good. And since the, see, you know, that was actually Vaikuntha, Ranganath, that's why he took decision to stay there, because love affair with Ranganath, not because he can come to home and visit, not there. Simply because Ranganath, strong love affair. For that reason, he took decision to stay there, but surely not at home. Follow. And there is also some secret reason also. So, Mahaprabhu, in course of his South Indian trip, Mahaprabhu, in course of his South Indian travel, you know, he went there. He went there. Mahaprabhu went there. At Sirangam, and in Srirangam, Mahaprabhu went to the temple, and in temple, Mahaprabhu dancing. They never saw, the South Indian people, they never saw that this kind of dancing is possible. Follow? This kind of dancing possible, they cannot remember. They couldn't realize. When Mahaprabhu dancing, Ajanulamida Bhujau Kanaka Vadato, this kind of appearance, Mahaprabhu dancing, all devotees in South India are there. They gone mad. Who is he? He is Ranganath or he is Ranganath? Ranganath is there in the temple. But we see Ranganath dancing. Finally, Benkot Bhatto by chance was there. So Benkot Bhatto wanted to give facility to Mahaprabhu. He was protecting public rush to allow Mahaprabhu to dance freely. Finally, after the dance is over, Mahaprabhu fall down on the ground and pay Dandavata Ranganath. 
and that Venkat Bhatta going to touch his lotus feet and take dust particle with full ecstasy. After that, Mahapu is going to embrace him and he is going to request him, you can come and take prasadam in our house. Then Mahapu was bound to go. When Mahapu went there, there at that time, our Gopal, Gopal mean Gopal Vattu Goswami, that time Gopal, Gopal was there. Gopal was seven or eight, you uh, know, six, seven years boy, small boy. And Gopal was very happy to see the appearance because they eternal relationship. After that, Mahaprabhu, after taking prasadam, allowed Gopal to take Uchishta prasadam. By giving the Uchishta prasadam, Mahaprabhu wanted to approve that boy as future Acharya. Like the case of, you know, the mother of Bindabandha Saku, Narayani. You know the case, you go through Chaitanya Bhagavad. Mother, mother of Bindabandha Saku, mother. Small boy, five years. Papa, after taking Pasanda and giving to her, going to indicate something going to happen. You can get. Follow. Even Mahaprabhu, even Mahaprabhu was bound to give prema to Narayani. Narayani, in the name of Krishna you can cry. And Narayani started crying, which is impossible. Five years boy, have, she has no idea about. Narayani, you can cry in the name of Krishna. I started crying. Oh, Krishna. Possible. So what not possible for? So, Gopal Bhattu Goswami was indicated by Mahaprabhu as a future Acharya anyway. After that, Venkat Bhattu requested Mahaprabhu, Prabhu, is a, actually Chaturmasa Bhattu starting. Chaturmasa Bhattu starting, so I know, Shayana Kadoshi. Chaturmasa Bhattu starting, why not you stay here? It's very, Mahaprabhu was agreed to stay there. And every day Mahaprabhu used to go to a temple to take darshan and dance and sing, singing. At the same time, there was some very secret, you know, reason. Because Mahaprabhu wanted to convert them into a Gauriya devotee. And Gopal Bhattu Goswami, by that time, he was not initiated. By that time, Gopal, 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 the small Gopal, he was not initiated by mantra, but he was surely initiated by Brahma Gayatri. <coughs> he was surely initiated by Brahma Gayatri. Otherwise, how it was possible for Gopal to take lesson? <coughs> Otherwise, how it was possible for Gopal to take lesson from Prabhupada Saraswati Bhatt? Because at present nobody is going to care. At present nobody is going to care. But that time it was the strict rules. That time, at that time it was the strict rules that without taking even Brahma Gayatri and Mantra Dikha, one cannot grow through spiritual and uh, scriptural analysis. That time. At present everybody. You can go to mar market and buy books and uh, read. By that one, it was the strict rules. Without taking Brahma Gayatri initiation, without taking mantra, I mean Vishnu mantra, I mean Krishna, not any, one cannot get the right to go through scriptural analysis. Or at all forcefully going to go, I can prove. Anybody you saw me in the world, he is going without Diksha reading. He cannot come out successfully. Not all. Or at all something, especially you find, in that case you should realize he was initiated previous life. Some special case. Extraordinary, you can see. In that case, be sure, he is initiated previous life, or maybe Siddha Mahatma, in the form of Bhakti Siddhanta, because Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami, in the, in the year of, you know, at the age of seven, wrote one complicated 
complicated, you know, at, uh, you know, it's called phonetic, like shorthand, you know, shorthand, shorthand, you know, type, shorthand, shorthand. Previous actors and all over. Previously, we have seen, you know, shorthand. If somebody giving lecture, uh, somebody speaking, shorthand. Uh, one kind of shorthand type of, you know, letter, you know, discovered by Prabhupada. Phonetic. So, seven years old. Pobad completed all Bakaran everything. Even the Bakaran Pandit was upset. Ah, you complete so quickly. Pobad laughing. Pandit speaking, within three days is complete. Actually, you know, Sandhi, everything is not good. Pobad laughing. Within three days, which, take, which takes one year, two years for ordinary man to learn. <laughs> or oh, five years. Pobad complete. Three days. Uh, you know, completely. When Pandit is going to suggest that uh, actually you will have to learn so very carefully because you will have to become a big Pandit, no? Papa speaking, Papa speaking, it is not my target to become a Pandit. My target is to become a great devotee. Then some sort of altercation took place between Pandit and Papa. Papa said, from today I cannot read to you in front of you. Papa reject Pandit. That small boy reject. From today I cannot read. From today I cannot read in front of you. Because you don't know the ultimate, ultimate result of reading. Why I am getting education? What, what is the utility? So to Hari Bhajan. But you are not going to confess from today I cannot read anything in front of you. So this was the mood of Prabhupada. So, you see, Gopal Bhattu Goswami was surely initiated by, I mean, Brahma Gaiti, everything done by Prabhupada Saraswati Path. Surely not at home. Maybe at the bank of Kaveri or maybe uh, uh, at the temple of Ranganatham because they were, they were very influential Vaishnava. I can show you, you can come with me in Vrindavan. I can, you can come with me, I can show you many, many Brahmin, they, those who are you know, doing some, say, all their family, there is big corridor. They are given room, all sevak, those who are doing seva, by influential, Brahman. I can show you their children, their husband, they are staying in the temple. And sannyasis, all sannyasis, they have separate arrangement. So, who can say where, used to say, so surely not at home. But Mahaprabhu was agree, Mahaprabhu was ready to stay with them for four months. And four months was very important time for because most of the people there in you know Ranganathan temple all around, those who are actually Sri Sampradaya Vaishnav, they changed their mood by looking at Mahaprabhu. Anyway, so in these four months, Mahaprabhu used to discuss all Krishna Katha. Mahaprabhu used to speak Krishna Katha with Bhinkar Bhatta, Tirumal Bhatta, everything. Huh? Follow. But anyway, they are, they are not actually Krishna Bhakta. They are actually Naran Bhakta, na? Ranganath Narayan. They are not Krishna Bhakta. They are Naran Bhakta. So Mahaprabhu joking with them so nicely. Eh? With Bhinkar but ah, oh, my, you know, my, my Prabhu Krishna, Mahaprabhu speaking, my Prabhu Krishna is staying in Vrindavan. He's a coward boy. He's staying in forest here, there. Why your, why your, why your Lakshmi Devi, she want to get the association of Krishna? What is the reason? Joking. Joking, Mahaprabhu joking. Ah, oh, well, actually, Narayan and Krishna are non different, non -different, non -different from each other. So, what wrong in it, Prabhu? You are joking with Mahaprabhu said, I know, I know. But I like to ask you a question. Why? Why? This way, all joking going on four months. They were totally molded. Totally molded. Totally. They took decision to do Krishna Vajan. More testful. And if somebody is going to put question, because at that time, at the time when Mahaprabhu going away from their house, 
it is written. I already wrote one, you know, small books on Prakasananda Saraswati Prabhupada Saraswati, not same, not one and the same, Bengali. Long ago, twelve years back, I wrote, where all evidence I Most of the people in Vrindavan, here, they everywhere, even in your own Sampradaya, Samacharya, they are fighting with the case. That Prakasananda Saraswati Prabhupada all same, I mean, no, never. It cannot be so. Anyway, today I have no time to discuss about this. So, it cannot so happen. So, <clears throat> somebody putting question, that at the time when Mahaprabhu going away from their house, there we find the name of Prabhupada also. Three brothers there. So what wrong in it? Somebody putting question, if he is at all sannyas, at the time of Maharaj, Mahaprabhu departure, when Mahaprabhu going away, that time we find three names. Prabhupada, I know, Bhankar Bhatta, Tirumal Bhatta, and Prabhupada, both, and Gopal, small. They all cry. It is written. It can be so. If Mahaprabhu is going to my house, try to understand. If Mahaprabhu directly going to my house, I can go there. Let people criticize. Because Mahaprabhu going to my house means it is Vaikuntha. Follow what I say. Try to get the meaning, inner meaning. If at all Mahaprabhu going to my house, I can go, run, though I am sannyasi. Say I can go. Because Mahaprabhu is going there. Where Mahaprabhu is there, that is called Krishna. Mahaprabhu is there. It's by, it is called Vrindavan. So what wrong in it? If Mahaprabhu is going to hell, I can go to hell. If Mahaprabhu is going to cross quarter, I can go there. You can say, Maharaj gone to prosecute, you can say, I can go there. Because I know Mahaprabhu, where is Mahaprabhu, there is called. Advaita Gosa told, na? Eh? when Mahaprabhu was in confusion, eh, purposely, it is Jogmaya. Eh? How you know I am in Vrindavan? Mahaprabhu was cheated by Nityananda Prabhu, after taking son and running here. And Small boys playing, coward boys. Nityana told the Ibn Mahaprabhu asking which way Vrindavan, you can say this way. <laughs> Balak, oh my boys, where Vrindavan, which way? Well, you go this way. Just opposite way. Mahaprabhu coming to, coming at the bank of Ganga and taking bath with full ecstasy. And although the are standing, Mahaprabhu, you, how you know I am in Vrindavan? How you know that in Vrindavan? <laughs> Mahaprabhu asking. Then, Advaita Gosa speaking, it is, uh, luckily you have come to you know, Ganga. Ganga? But Nithyananda told me I am going to Vrindavan. I think it's Vrindavan. Yes, Nithyananda never speaking lie. Where you are staying, where you are going, all Vrindavan. It's right, Siddhanta. Ma, where Mahaprabhu is in Vrindavan? No problem. At the same time, Adhyatu say, you are taking bath in Jamuna. Because that side you are taking bath is Jamuna and that side is Ganga. In Ganga, two flow. Actually, three flow, Ganga, Juma, Saraswati. The Saraswati is confusing. Sometimes coming, sometimes going the other way. Some, sometimes Saraswati going up, sometimes going down, sometimes going up. So, you cannot understand. This way, after blessing, after blessing them, Mahaprabhu took permission. Mahaprabhu already, you know, spoke with, you know, Benkat Bhatta, don't arrange marriage of this small boy. When this boy, small boy can get maturity, you can send this boy to Vrindavan, to Dubajan. And Prabhupada Saraswati already took decision. Already took decision where to stay. Because the great Pandit. So, he already left, already left. Mahaprabhu left. Mahaprabhu left and he already left for Vrindavan. Already left for Vrindavan. But, small Gopal was not allowed. Mahaprabhu already wanted to give instruction to Gopal, your father, mother, both get devotee. After they leave their body, you can go to Vrindavan. Because Mahaprabhu could see 
they are going to leave body shortly. So after father and mother gone, Gopal Bhatta Goswami already reached and wanted to reach, wanted to reach to Vindavan there. And in and Mahaprabhu already spoke in front of Rup Sanatan that Gopal Bhatta or Gopal can come shortly. Gopal can come. So Ma, Gopal Bhatta Goswami already gone there. Gopal Bhatta already gone. There, Rupa Sanatan going to accept that Gopal as their own brother, going to embrace and kiss. So happy by meeting with Gopal. They arrange, they arrange his staying near them because that time Rupa Goswami used to stay there, what is called Damodar, Damodar Mandir. Sanatan Goswami used to stay there, you know, Madan Mohan Gera, you know, and Gopal Bhattu Goswami just here, very near there. At the, at Jamuna was very wide, Jamuna was very wide at the time, almost at the bank of Jamuna, back on, almost, not more. So they used to stay, they arranged staying near, you know, at present what is called uh, Radharaman, they used to stay. But usually, Sanatan Goswami, Rupa Goswami, Gopal Bhattu Goswami, they used to travel. Most of the time they used to travel in, inside Vrindavan. We have information that like Sanatan and Rupa, Gopal Bhattu Goswami used to travel different places of Vrindavan. I can show you in Vrindavan. They are before Nandagram. Nandagram and Barsana, you know? Barsana and Nandagram. Almost eight, ten kilometers different. Different. In between, there is one place that is Sanket. Sanket, you heard the name Sanket? In Sanket, there is Bhajan Kutir of Gopal Gattu Goswami. The swinging place of Radha Govindo. There is place of Bhajan Kutir. So Gopal Gattu Goswami also used to travel different places, but I come I can come to the point, you know. So most of the time Gopal Bhattu Goswami used to stay in Radharaman finally, before he used to travel here and there. Because there was twelve salgram, there was twelve salgram sila in the packet in the in the in the bag of Gopal Bhattu Goswami. He collected it from from Kali Gandaki, he collected it from Nepal Kali Gandaki Nadi, where Bharat Maharaj used to do bhajan, he told, na? Huh? Ah. He collected 12 salgram, he used to keep in back. He used to worship everything after that putting in back. Like Loknath Goswami, he used to put in back. Finally, what happens? Some small uh, arrangement was there for seva. So Gopal Bhattu Goswami started living. At present, what do you call? At present, what do you call Radharaman temple? At present, what do you you have seen na, Radharaman? Uh, at present, what do you call Radharaman? There, that place was constructed after. You don't know whenever you are getting entry into Radharaman corridor, corridor not temple, corridor outside from us. Then left hand side you can find one small place where Radha Raman was discovered. There was a tree. There is one window you get. There is no open. Gate is not open, you can see. That that was the original Bhajan Kutir of Gopal Bhattu Goswami. And just aside, just here, just here you can find the place of Bhajan Kutir of Gopal Bhattu, very small. And just aside, left hand side, you can find at present the Samadhi Mandir of Gopal Bhattu. At present, Samadhi Mandir. But that time there was no question of Samadhi Mandir, it was within this area, a small place. So he used to worship 12 salagram, but in course of his seva, he was very much willing, he was very much interested to, or he was very much interested to, 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 to do seva of you know, Radha Raman, 
mentally, inside, heart. But they know Radharaman, Radharaman is in the form of Salgram. One rich man, very rich man, he started distributing nice, nice clothes, ornament, all whatever you need for deities, every temple. Every time, at present, that present, that time there was limited temples, at present countless. He used to distribute. She also wanted to give some ornament, everything, necklace, ornament, all golden, very costly. So Gopal Bhattu Goswami is thinking, if I could get one de uh, deity, I could serve with this ornament, this, that, but uh, what to say? Salgram, how I can offer? Follow. In the meantime, that man is distributing ornament every temple. He is supposed to come here also. But he is thinking, no, I have only salagram. Salagram, how I can arrange a you know, ring, this, how possible? Necklace, not possible. In the meantime, he used to put all 12 salagram in a copper pot and used to put one basket up. Basket, you know? Basket, basket, you know? Bamboo basket. As the usual rule. Every day open the worshiping everything and putting exact and after that a basket off. The day he was, you know, the day he was feeling pain. If I could get Radharaman practically. Oh. That day, morning time, when he is going to start Arati, after chanting on him, going to open the basket, he discovered one twelve salgram, only amalgamated. Already making one deity. Twelve salgram together all, and after that they are making one very small Radharaman. Oh, you are stunned to see how. Still today, if you don't believe, if you can pay some heavy amount to, and to Panda, I mean their Pujari, he can show you, backside there is a symbol of salgram. Backside. Radharaman front side you cannot see. Backside you can see the still today. You can clearly see from Salgram as if somebody is going to mold, as if somebody is going to as if as if somebody is going to mold uh, all Salgram, melt all Salgram and mold and make one date. Nice. The news spreading like wind. The news started the news started spreading all around Vrindavan. What to speak about Rupa Sanatan? They are glad, they are running, running, oh, very mad. They have become mad. Jiva Goswami, oh, they are very happy to see. Oh, they started big festival. It is actually Vaishakhi Purnima. The day, the day, Gopal Bhattu Goswami discovered that deity, it is called Vaishakhi Purnima. Still today, at Vaishakhi Purnima, at the month of Vaishak, Purnima, still today you can find they are making big festival, Radharaman temple. So this way onward he started doing seva. Very happy, oh, dancing all day and night. Bhagavan, surely going to respond according to your bhava. Surely, 100%. You can disbelieve, that's up to you. But Bhagavan can give response to you according to your Baba. Surely. So Gopal Bhattu Goswami gave. So after that Gopal Goswami goes to Goswami. I am not going in details because another great version of their Thirubhaptiti. So Gopal Bhattu Goswami, you know, going to make disciples to engage them in Seva, automatically from Saharanpur, one small boy coming, his name is Gopinath. Long ago, he went their house his father and mother crying, we have no children. Then he bless, okay, you can get children. Then the father speaking, if I get a boy, first boy, I can offer to you. I am not going in details because it's Gopinath, his name. Hello, he engaged him. After that, the small boy of Gopinath, his name is Krishna, I think. He also coming. In the meantime, uh, our, uh, this, you know, Srinivasa Chajyo. Srinivasa Chajyo. Srinivasa also took. Srinivasa also took, na? Oh, foolish. 
Srinivasa also took na Dikya from Gopal Bhattu Swami. You don't know. I discussed many times. <laughs> you forget. Cannot remember. When, you know, Srinivasa Jaju went there, you know, he got initiation by? By Gopal Bhattu Goswami. Great devotee. So this way, Gopal Bhattu Goswami, you know, day by day, increasing, increasing the mode of seva, everything, all. Different kind of seva, everything. And he himself going to concentrate in writing and uh, to be frankly, you know, actually, long before, Gopal Bhattu Goswami was the great, great Pandit. Like Prabhupada Saraswati, great Pandit, he was also great Pandit. He took Diksha Mantra from Prabhupada Saraswati in Kamavan. Gopal Bhattu Goswami, he took final initiation, not Brahma Gayati. Final initiation from Pavadana Sasatvat in Kamavan. Kamavan was the perfect place for him for writing and thinking, meditating as well. He was to do there. Follow. He used to do. Anyway, so he was very much interested to compile one very important book on Sriti Sastra. Sriti, you know. Shruti Sriti. Shruti means which is coming this way. Brahma, another coming from Anantadev. You know? Two. Same. Uh, Agam and Nigam, we say. Anyway, so he wanted to compile one Sriti Shastra. Sriti Shastra going to speak us in uh, practically. Practically, Sriti Shastra can give us all detailed information. What to do, what not to do, all it. Follow. In this respect, I would like to say. The Sriti Shastra, written by Manu Maharaj, the first man, Manu Maharaj. Manu Sriti. Manu Sriti is this much. I have this much. He cannot carry this book, so heavy. Manu Sriti. Where Manuji Maharaj is going to write all detailed information about what to do, what not to do for Grihastha, for, you know, renounce order, Brahmachari, Sanyas, or everything. Follow, Grija Sutra, all Grihastha Bhakti, how to lead life and maintain their Vajra, all everything in details. In general, people, those who are staying there, for them, what is the rules, all, say this much books. Follow, Munu Mahala. Manu Sriti, Sriti means? In applied form, what to do, what not to do, what is uh, details, guidance you can get. So, Gopal Bhattu Goswami was very much interested from the very beginning. He wanted to compile one Siddhi Shastra. So, as and when he could remember some, some special point, he used to note. Because that time, diary was not available, no? Paper was not available. Paper was not available that time. So, big problem. They used to write either in the screen, you know. It is called Bojo Patra, you know, Bojo Patra. You have seen Bojo Patra. You have known like paper. Very nice. I, I have, I write mantra on Bojo Patra. Bojo Patra, all plum tree, uh, uh, you know, that leaf you can write. This is the system that time. So he started compiling one very small book, but in, in not self. Very short. Within, within, within very short compass, he wanted to compile one book. His name is Hari Bhakti Vilas. We know Hari Bhakti Vilas is compiled by Sanatana Guru. It's right. Not wrong. But basically it was compiled by Gopal Bhattu. That you don't know. By the order of Mahaprabhu, by the order of Mahaprabhu, Sanatana Goswami was very much interested to compile. At the same time, he got the clue, I mean, how to start with, from, oh, he started very nice, very nice book. Even it is written, Sandarbha, you know Sandarbha? Six Sandarbha, Priti Sandarbha, uh, Krishna Sandarbha, Paramatma Sandarbha, Bhagavad Sandarbha, all Sandarbha, no? six, which is the gist of all Sastra. This was also basically compiled by Gopal Bhattu Goswami. Nobody knows. 
Basically, very, very short. Only indication. Like I can say, very, oh, you cannot understand who they are. That's why you are in confusion. Only, only four or six slokes, only four or six slokes were written by Rupa Goswami. Don't understand. Only four or six sloka written by Rupa Goswami about Ashtokal Leela. But the total Ashtokal Leela was written by, by Krishna Das Kubiriya. So you understand. You can go to all possible Maharaj. You cannot understand. Only four or six sloka written in not self. Whole Ashtokal Leela. And on the basis of that Ashtokal Leela, only four or eight, six or eight sloka, Krishna Das Kubiriya was compiled because they are from they are from eternal world, na? Kasturi Manjuri. How they cannot write? You can say, how possible? How, how, why not possible? Why not possible? It's possible. He wrote. Because the expans ex expansion, because some body is something, some in, in, in very dense, is going to expand this, this, this. Like Chatu Sroki. Also this kind of argument. Chatu Sroki, only four sloka. Only four sloka Bhagavan give, gave to Brahma. How it was possible for Brahma to compile 18,000 sloka? You can give answer. Everything possible. So Bhagavan giving in the form of seed. If you have your IQ, I mean your bhajan power, in, in this, you know, seed form. Like the banyan tree, which is 5,000 years old. I can take you to Botanical Garden, Calcutta. You cannot find the original. Calcutta Botanical at the back, bank of Ganga. It is protected area by government. You can go mad. Where is the original root? Where is the original root at Banyan tree? Because here you can find, here you can find, all around, forest. If you go to Naimi Sharana, there is a Banyan tree. Follow. If you go to Elehava, there is Banyan Only four of four flesh, four or five. So they are, maybe they are 5,000 years old, five, five, more than 5,000, they are not going to die. Then what do you know? Not going to die. Not going to die. So, if I put question, what is the origin of that Banyan tree? Simply I can say from a very small seed. Eh? Follow, what is it? Very small seed, very small you cannot see. That seed is the original root of this great opinion. Is why not? Karjo Karan, in science speaking, as per scientific research, we know cause and effect related to each other. Cause and effect 100% related. If there is cause is not there, effect you cannot say. What is not there in the original ground, how you can find this story? Originally it should be there, but maybe in fine form. Maybe in fine form. So the whole infinite universe, material universe, it is also in fine form. But you don't know. You can start argument. You can say, Maharaj, sun god is so, how many Celsius temperature uh, foolish people, how can stay there? You are idiot number one. You are idiot number, you have no idea. You have this kind of body, made of blood and uh, five elements of body. You think everybody is like you? You think everybody? Like ghost, their body is air. They have their body, air body. Your body is flesh, man, man. but demigods, their body is separate. Those who are staying in sun god, their body is, you know, their, their body is tejomoy body, tejomoy. All relative, no, nah, foolish. You cannot understand the relative theory. It is relative. What is not possible for you, it is possible for the, those who are staying there in Surya Loka. Otherwise, not, no false thing written in Shastra. Somebody can go to Surya Loka. So they can get, uh, they can get Tejomai body. 
They cannot feel temperature there. You feel temperature. Those who are lay, those who are staying there in Sujo Loka, they are not feel normal. They are sleeping nicely, they are no temperature. But you feel, oh, even within one lakh kilometer range of Surya, if some, in some special aircraft going, it can get vapor, 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 vaporize. <laughs> so you understand the temperature, how many cells are? This is not a matter of joke. So there is water body, there is water body. Their body is made of water, they are, they are staying in Varun Loka. Some body is made up of air, they are saying, air Loka. But you think it's not possible because you only understand your body. <laughs> oh, is this, oh, this much, this can be there. Oh, maybe this is a little bit possible. But you have some restriction. Your thinking power within some narrow limit is not going to reach up to that level. That's why you think strange. So, Gopal Vattu Goswami went to write in a Sandarbha in fine, fine form and it was expanded by Jiva Goswami, by the great Jiva Goswami path. Follow this way. And you should remember, before Gopal Vattu Goswami, uh, now nah, already Mahan Mahaprabhu reaching, uh, uh, Gopal Vattu Goswami when going to reach Vindavan, Mahaprabhu from Purishottam Dham going to send all copin. Door, Kopin, Vahirvas, Uttariyo, Mahaprabhu going to pack and send with you can give to Gopal Bhattu. Now you have no right to ask that where from he got you know, this Besa. He cannot ask to Sunatan, hey, who is your who is your base guru? Where from you took? You idiot. When Mahaprabhu is standing in front of Sunatan, when Mahaprabhu is standing, Mahaprabhu approve. Then he is cutting cloth and putting. Then I prove by Bhagavan. Follow. So Gopal Bhattu Goswami, Mahaprabhu packing the cloth and sending, you can give to Gopal. Gopal Bhattu this way, Gopal Bhattu Goswami. So the great, you know, it's great, you know, what we can speak about them, how much we can speak. So great devotee. So Gopal Bhattu Goswami is such a, you know, Great Gaura Parshat, whom Mahaprabhu was bound to send, even Kofin, everything. Mahaprabhu already wrote letter to Sanatan Rub, hey, Gopal coming. He is my heart. So Sanatan Rub used to take care of that small brother. Hello? Follow. Somebody saying, he is, you know, he has, he has his eternal sarubna. This body is also eternal. Gopal Bhattu Goswami, this body is also in Gaur Lila, it is eternal Parsha. And in Radha Govinda Lila, somebody is speaking Guna Manjari, somebody is speaking Raga Manjari, is fighting. Ah, anyway, he is eternally present there, serving Radharani, Radha Govinda. Anyway, I will have to check my <coughs> I have to I have to check my speech. Because I have to discuss about another great and great devotee whose name is Raguna, eh, what name is, and uh, you know, this uh, uh, eh? Ramchandra Kaviraj, I have to speak, is a great devotee. Such a great devotee about whom Narottama Raghur crying like rain. Like rain, tears coming, and Narottama crying, Ramachandra Sangha Mange Narottama Das. Ramachandra Sangha Mange, Ramachandra Ramachandra Association, Narottama Dagur asking, Ramachandra Sangha Mange, Narottama Das. So now you understand what a great devotee he is. And another point have some link that today, is the Avirvaptiti of Param Gurudev of Ramchandra Kaviraj. Because Ramchandra Kaviraj is a disciple of Srinivasa Chacha. Follow. Srinivasa Chacha is a disciple of Gopal Goswami. Ramchandra Kaviraj is a disciple of 
<coughs> disciple of Srinivas Acharya. I can cut short and speak the glories because no time you are not going to permit me time. And all. So anyway, one day they are from a very, very high family. Roy. Roy, yes, you know. Uh, <coughs> Actually, originally they used to live there in Narahari Sarkar part, they are in Katwa. If you go to Katwa, you know, Jajigram, Jajigam is long distance. Jajigam, I went there. I went there, the Abhirva place of uh, Srinivas Acharya, Jajigram. I went there in the house of Jajigam and uh, in the house of uh, you know, the, uh, Srinivas Acharya. But Ramchandra Kaviraj took birth there in, you know, maybe in Katwa, this place, what name? Narari part, there, just a little far, a little far there. So, there Narayi Sarkar Prabhu, Narayi Mukundo, eh, Raghunandan Acharya, they, I, I went there, but not now, at present I have no time. Previously I used to go there, all I know. I went to the house of, you know, Srinivas Acharya, I went to the Bhajan Kuti of Srinivas Acharya, I went to the place of, Sanyas place of Mahaprabhu, all before, now no time. That time used to write books and speak Harikatas, uh, Harikata somewhere, but not so regularly. Anyway, so I went there, very nice place. Uh, they are actually near Katwa. Katwa station, this side Katwa, and that side, left side. There, Srinivas Ajaja Bhajan Kutir, one day Ramchandra Kaviraj, you know, in a marriage possession, because he, he already married one girl, already. And in a planquin, going, is like, looking like a king. Looking like a king with wife, just marriage, just marriage ceremony over, just marriage ceremony over, he is supposed to go to his house. In the meantime, Sinibha Satyajyo was sitting in, the, in, a, in a veranda, and uh, he was... Uh, speaking casual, not not like you know, speaking Harikatha Prasanga. Two devotees, all devotees, and speaking question and answer going on. In the meantime, that Ramchandra Kaviraj with in plank queen, very like looking like king going. And then Srinivas Acharya asking, Who that man is? So nice looking. If you could if he could do Hari Bhajan, uh, Bas, this much. Srinivas Acharya already told, who is he? What is his identity? How nice looking. If this man could, uh, if this boy could do Hari Bhajan, could make success. Bas. Ramchandra Kubira heart that this sadhu passing this kind of comment. Gone. Gone to his house. That is the first night with wife. That is the first night with wife. But what is, what to speak about first night? <laughs> he gone. <laughs> first night, first night, wife is there inside, he already gone. Night time, running, 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 and reaching uh, uh, all just near Ramch and uh, Kishu, uh, uh, just near the house of uh, Bhajan Kutir of Sinibasaj. Not going there, night time, no? But somehow in the house of a Brahman, he took rest. Morning time, going and jump into the lotus feet of Sinivasaju. Eh? Sinivasaju is going to help that man to get up and embrace. You are my eternal servant. Speaking Ramchandra, you know, to Ramchandra Kaviraj. You saved me. I am going to die. I don't like to marry, but they arrange marriage. Anyway, I like to do bhajan. I started doing bhajan. Learning so many sastra, everything, eternal parsat. After that, after that, finally, from Gurudev he took permission and went to Gambhira. Gambhila, the name, place name is Gambhila. Gambhila means 
it is at the bank of Padda Nadi. If you go, I've been there, maybe 18, 20 years back, Gambhila, where Narottama Thakur, Srinivasa Jajjo and Ramchandra Kabira, they used to do bhajan. I went to that place. It is just border. I didn't cross. Up to now, I never cross Indian uh, 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 limit of uh, Bharat, India. I go just just a uh, crease, you know, border point of Nepal, border point of Sikkim, border point of Bangladesh. I speak Harikatha, but I am not crossing that. <laughs> I never. Up to that point, I have. So there, actually, that place is very nice place, Gambhila. They used to do bhajan there. Ramchand Srinivasaja also finally went there to do bhajan. They used to do bhajan. There is long history. And, uh, so, Narutam Thakur was there. Ramad Narutam Thakur, Narutam Thakur and Ramchandra Kubiraj, very deep friendship. So deep friendship, I cannot speak to you. It's not a matter of lecture. Follow, it's not a matter of lecture. Very deep friendship. Very deep friendship. Due to some reason, I have no time to go speak in details, repeatedly I'm speaking. Due to some reason, Narutama Thakur beat. Due to some reason, Narutama Thakur was bound to beat Ramchandra Kaviraj with one boon. Boon, you know? You know, you clean? Boon. Heavily. After that, when Narottam Thakur is going to do some seva to Srinivasa Chajyo, Srinivasa Chajyo applying oil in the body. Then Narottam Thakur asking, how you develop this kind of, you know, pro this kind of, you know, problem on your backside? Narottam Thakur, our Thakur Thakur asking, your backside, how? Yesterday also I never saw. I never saw, yesterday also I check up your Backside was very good, but now how you develop this kind of, you know, red, red marking this? But you don't know, you, you beat me, I beat you. When you beat you? You cannot remember, you beat me? Just morning time? Shock. Oh, I beat Ramchandra Kaviraj. That beating coming in the backside of, understand you, what is the relationship between Guru and Sisra? That's like Kures and Ramanuja Charjo. You have to realize practical feeling should be there. When Haridas Thakur was beaten in 22 different markets, when Haridas Thakur was beaten in 22 different markets, by all beating coming in the backside of Mahaprabhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu asking Haridas, you feel too much pain there? You are feeling pain? No, 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 no. How you can feel? You see my backside. Mahaprabhu asking Haridas, when they started beating in 1222, you are feeling very painful, huh? No, 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 nothing. How you can feel? You see my backside. Mahaprabhu saying, they beat on my back. This is called Bhagavan. So merciful. If whole world can say, I can kill him to me, they cannot kill me. Bhagavan can protect me. You should have that much faith unto a lotus feet of Bhagavan, then you can come to do Hari Bhajan, not before that. Foolish. This way, who is, who is Srinivasa Chajyo? He is Ramchandra Kaviraj. Follow what I say. Who is Srinivasa Chajyo? He is Ramchandra Kaviraj. That is the real identity of a Guru. The day I can reach up to that level, I think I cannot reach up to the level. When you can see Bhakti Pumat Purigashema inside my heart, then my discipleship is successful. When you can see clearly, Gurudev is there. Not before that. I can speak another incident. So many things I can speak year after year. If I live more, then I can speak. One day, Srinivasa Chajya doing bhajan, Ashtakalin Lila. In course of bhajan, he passed away. 
There is no symptom of life. There is no symptom of life in his body. Everybody anxious. Everybody anxious. Whole day gone, two days gone, three days gone. Meditation. What happens? Oh my God. No symptom of body. Symptom of no movement, nothing. Only sitting. Then they are crying, everybody cry. Ganga Narayan, everybody cry. Ganga Narayan actually the disciple of North Mutakur. Ganga Narayan. There is a long history. Someday I can speak at the day of North Mutakur. So, they are very anxious what to do. They thought Gurudev is going to leave body. Everybody anxious about this. Then they request Ramchandra. Ramchandra, Gurudev love you very much. Can you bring back Gurudev? Because anyway we cannot disturb him. You cannot disturb him. I know. When one Vaishnava is doing bhajan, you have no right to touch him. You have no right to touch him. When you are doing his meditation, Totally, he is going different places, doing Parikram, Radha Kunza, everybody. More clear, more clear than you when you can reach Radha Kunda. They can see more clearly when you are going to reach Radha Kunda, you, what you can see, they can see more clearly than you. They need not go to Puri to see to check Jagannath. From here they can, Jagannath Balasiva, they kill clearly, they can see. Their vision is so clear, even they can see what ornament, Bhagavan, what crown, everything they can see. You cannot believe, because you have to reach up to that level. It's miracle. Guru Mahārāj is doing Hari Bhajan. I can Guru Mahārāj, Abhir Bhav, Tirubhav coming, it's more practical to speak in this occasion, but still I can touch. One man, his name is Barin Babu, his name is Barin Babu, he is staying in Kalna or staying. But he is doing service in Calcutta. Government service. So in a week, Saturday, office time over, coming to Kalna, and after that, Sunday over, morning, Monday, 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 morning, he used to go. Office. Follow what I say. So he used to uh, bring something for Guru Maharaj, or Guru Maharaj used to give letter to Madhav Goswami Maharaj, Calcutta, this way he used to. He was going and coming. Guru Maharaj giving a letter or something. He is going to bring something for Calcutta. One day Guru Maharaj in the Aruti is over and he is doing Harinam. Fully. Even you cannot understand the no body symptom. Body is no movement. Only under Chadar maybe he is doing some Harinam. Nobody can understand. In the meantime, Barin Babu coming in the room. Barin Babu coming. Barin Babu calling, Maharaj, Maharaj, Maharaj not responding. Maharaj not responding. Maharaj passed away. Nah. Finally, he was bound to touch the lake. Maharaj, Maharaj, check up. Maharaj, check and get up. Oh, you Barin, you come? Yes. After that, all talking over. Now, Barin Babu going to ask Guru Maharaj, Maharaj, please. Please don't try to hide. Don't try to hide. You speak me. I was calling you. You are not responding. So I was bound to touch your lotus. But when I touch, when I touch your lotus feet, I feel some current going on. Tap. Last time also when Guru Maharaj was there, doctor or so many things, when touching, it's some current. I'm I myself practically experienced. Guru Maharaj touching my head, shh, current going on. Direct time. So, Guru Maharaj is laughing and not giving answer. Please speak me what happens. Please speak me Maharaj. Please, please what? Oh, no problem. No, you speak me. Actually, whatever power was there I am doing, that going to touch you. That was. This way, Ramchandra, Kaviraj, not going to touch Gurudev, not going to shake him. Maharaj, Guru Maharaj, not. Ramchandra speaking, near Gurudev is doing very doing bhajan here, three days no response. Ramchandra Gurudev also making, making one asan, making one asan near Gurudev. Ramchandra Gurudev also making one asan near Gurudev, just backside, 
and making one asan and started doing bhajan, everybody outside, don't disturb. The in course of Ramchandra Kaviraj, in course of doing bhajan, Ramchandra Kaviraj, in course of doing bhajan, he also passed away. He going to reach the place where Gurudev is. Nobody can find the body symptom of Ramchandra Kaviraj also. Gurudev already gone. So Ramchandra Kaviraj, are everybody outside? No disturbance, nothing. Ramchandra Kaviraj going to pass away and going to watch that Gurudev is busy searching one, uh, you know, nose ring, lost. Radharani nose ring. Radharani nose ring in Jamuna is missing. If without nose ring, if, if without nose ring, if Radharani is going to reach Jotila Kutila, they can fight. So in fear, everybody all Sakhi Manjari is searching. Sakhi Manjari is hunting. So our Ramchandra Kaviraj is also, Ramchandra Kaviraj is also searching. Hey, hey, Krish, our Srinivas Acharya is also searching. There. And Srinivas was searching, he passed away and gone to Vrindavan, Jamuna. He watching, Gurudev is there busy, for three days not responding. Follow. This way, finally, he was successful to bring Gurudev back. So now you understand. How much oneness, even in dream, even in infinity life, I can reach up to that level so that too much oneness I can feel with my Guru Maharaj. I like to get that kind of occasion. When I can feel too much oneness, my what is there inside the heart of Guru Maharaj can appear inside my heart. What is inside my heart, Guru Maharaj can feel. When and how that I am waiting. Follow what I say. Very important thing. Too much oneness. That's why occasionally I am speaking, very often I am speaking that slok. You can remember. Balavan Adaru Yasuna Sad Guru Padambuje Sutoi Ropit Sasasrai Krishna Bhakti Najayati. Balavan Adaru Yasuna Sad Guru Padambuje Sutoi Ropit Asya Sasasrai Krishna Bhakti Najayati. Sinivasa is writing this. That's why, who is Ramchandra Kaviraj? He is Srinivasa Chajyo. Who is Srinivasa Chajyo? He is Ramchandra At present, at present, if you can show me one example such, Guru and Sisha, one example, all over the world. I like to see one example, only one example. Can you show me? Can you show me? One Guru, one Sisha. Impossible. Really strange. So we will have to develop that kind of oneness with Guru Pāt Padma, then we can come out successful. I can give so many examples, no time. Follow. So, Balavan Adoro Yasuna Sadhu Guru Padambuje, so long as you are not going to develop tremendous affinity unto a lotus feet of Guru Pāt Padma, till then, no question of no question of this kind of feeling. No question. You can do statutory. You can do, you can go on. Stereotype bhajan, you can go on doing. But we like to feel all excellency every day. Most of the people, most of the people, they are habituated to, oh, yeah, morning time, you can get up and see, chant, these are stereotype bhajan. Even you are not going to follow stereotype bhajan. Even stereotype bhajan they don't like to do. They are breaking rail, sometimes getting up nine, ten o'clock, sometimes nine o'clock, sometimes six o'clock, no rules. So you cannot put yourself, first of all, it is the first of all, it is the vital point. You will have to put yourself into some regulation. But you are not ready. You like to travel here and there whimsically. You don't like to put yourself under the strict judgment of Guru Pātpada. That is why you are not getting success. No, nah, big problem. When my happiness is equal to Guru Mahaja's happiness, try to understand. 
when my happiness, when my desire, my happiness, my Siddhanta Vichar, my Harikatha, all writing, all equal to Guru Path Padma and Prabhupada, then I can feel satisfaction. Why Guru Vaishnava, they are not Chanchal? Why? That is the reason, no? They are getting some, they are getting some energy. They are getting ananda, they are getting ananda. They are getting ananda, aprakita ananda. That's why they are not uh, chanchal like you and me. You see. So it is actual, it is called actual dikha. Balavan adoru yasuna sad guru padambuje shrutai ropita shasasrair kishne bhakti na jayate. You cannot get bhakti unto a lotus feet of Krishna, nanda nanda Krishna. Till then, you cannot get. You can read Shastra, so many, Shuti, Siti, Puran, so many. But gist, you cannot get. Cream, cream, you cannot get. You can read so many. Maybe you have memory, you have power. Follow. But you cannot get. This way, we are very sorry. We like to discuss about this kind of great, great devotees, eternal person of Gauranga, Radha Govinda, always, whenever Avirbhav Tirubhav coming, we like to discuss to purify ourselves. No such procedure, no such procedure is available anywhere. No such unique procedure. Like, no such unique procedure. Like discussing all the glories of Guru Vaishnava. No such procedure. You can go here, but you cannot. That is the topmost procedure. I can discuss next day. Next day I can discuss. But, uh, next day, I mean 12, I think, huh? Jayadev Goswami. I can discuss. I can show you, it is far better, it is more practical, more and more practical to discuss all the glories of Guru Vaishnava to get bhakti. Why you become chanchal here and there, running like mad? You can lose your money, you can everything you can lose. Finally, green banana. Finally, green banana you can get. That is your net profit. So, what to do, what not to do? Now we'll have to settle down. I will have to stop here anyway. So, what to, you know, Sariram Basu Vijnanam, Karma. Uh, Karma gunana asuna, guru varthe dharvet jastu, sa sishya neitara sritaha, vancha kalpadaro se ke basind bhaja, paditanam pavana bhavishna bhyo namona. Try to remember, don't forget. Follow. Whenever you hear, like maglet, you can catch all, so that you can speak. Forget means no bhakti. Remember means bhakti. 